wicked weather packing a powerful punch. Oh! Oh Severe storms of nature ripping through the southern plains, carving through cities and small towns. This morning, residents from Texas to Nebraska are still on high alert after dozens of dangerous tornadoes tore through the region. In Comanche County, Oklahoma, significant damage. I actually seen a funnel cloud about halfway to the ground. Homes ripped to pieces after an EF2 tornado took aim on the tight-knit community of Geronimo. This is all that's left of the roof right here. In Nebraska, two supercell storms spawning terrifying twisters. Storm chasers capturing funnels charging through fields. Tornado! This twister a little too close for comfort. It could be one of the more significant severe weather outbreaks we've seen in the southern plains in many, many years. Residents in Kansas also battling Mother Nature's wrath. This jaw-dropping video showing a massive tornado leaving behind a path of destruction. While down in Texas, another tornado touching down in the city of Abilene, smacking this elementary school on a day it was thankfully empty and leaving thousands without power. Relentless rain and hail also leaving their mark as a battered region braces for more. The homeowner here says he does have insurance, but trying to find his papers in this mess, not an easy task, one that he'll do when the daylight comes up here later today. Meantime, those who live in this region and really across this part of the country are keeping a close eye today, especially on their phones so that they have those alerts in the event more tornadoes touch down. Possibility remains very high. Guys? Thankful he was able to get out there. Carrie Sanders for us here in Oklahoma. Carrie, thank you. Let's bring in Al for more on the severe weather outbreak and where it's heading. Al, good morning. Yeah, guys, this is an extremely dangerous situation. We have some showers making their way through the Northeast. That's a quick mover. But back to the West, here's where the storms now are starting to fire up. We have severe thunderstorm warnings up for parts of uh, Texas on into the panhandle of Oklahoma. We're going to be watching this very carefully. Here's where we have the severe risk. 12 states, and we're talking about 18 million people. This area is in red and purple. That's where we expect large, long-track storms, baseball-sized hail, damaging winds. And in fact, as we go in closer, this is the area where there's a significant tornado risk. EF2 to EF5 tornadoes possible from Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Lubbock, Abilene, all the way down to San Angelo. And tomorrow we've got an area, 10 states, and we're talking about 15 million people moving to the east into Illinois, all the way back down into Texas. Here's the setup. We've got a strong instability, very warm air being pumped up from the Gulf by that high pressure, plus a powerful jet stream coming on top of it. That's extreme shear. Winds from different directions causing the spin. So this morning, storms developing Texas into Oklahoma and Wichita into Kansas. A squall line will form. Then we're going to be looking at tonight, long, strong long track tornadoes, damaging wind. The big danger of this, this is going to be overnight, rain wrapped, so it will be hard to see and there will be very little warning. So you have to stay very alert. And today we've got heavy rain. Look at this. We've got a moderate to high risk of rain from Texas all the way into Kansas and parts of Missouri. Why? Because we're looking at rainfall amounts anywhere from three to five inches. Some of the models are saying anywhere from seven to ten inches of rain with three to five inches of rain falling per hour. This is a volatile situation. We'll continue to track it and keep you updated.